Hey everybody, Drummer Ruben here again. I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up your double bass drum pedal. There's been a lot of confusion about this amongst some of my students who have gotten double bass pedals and when they end up setting it up, it's all awkward. So let me give you a couple of tips on how to set that up correctly. Here we have this DW3000 double bass drum pedal attached to a Pearl E-Pro drum set. Now this is more like your typical drum set where your snare has a stand like this. And a lot of times what I see with my students are they just don't know how to fit this drum pedal along with this stand. So I just want to be clear about how you set this up. When you attach it to the bass drum, you have this bar that goes across to the secondary pedal, which is called the drive shaft. Now, a lot of people end up putting the snare stand way over here on the other side of the bar, but it needs to be on the side closest to you. Set the snare stand right in between the two pedals, and then adjust the length right here of this drive shaft until it's wide enough for this to fit in here. That way you have your left foot here, your right foot here, and the snare goes right in between. This way the snare is as close to you as possible. Any other way, the snare would be too far away. The only other adjustments you need to think about are beater height, which should be not too high, so just make it so that it hits the center of the bass drum, and spring tension right here. And I usually tension the springs medium tight, so almost all the way tight, but not all the way. That way you have plenty of good rebound from your pedal. So this is the typical setup. Let me show you how to set it up with an electronic drum set. Now on this one, this is a Roland drum set, and we have this Griffin double bass pedal attached to the bass drum tower. And this is not the same as a regular bass drum, but it works very well. It's just a little different in the fact that your snare should still be right in between the two pedals, but there's no stand here to get in the way. So you just attach this on, that's pretty much it. This is a much simpler setup because you don't have to worry about the snare stand getting in the way. A couple of other adjustments to think about with these pedals are beater angle, as in how close or how far is the beater sit from the drum. I use about a 45 degree. You can see how far it is right there. So it's not way back like this, but it's not super close like this either. It's just right here at a resting point. And you can adjust that by, usually there's a screw right here. You loosen it and then you can move it forward and backward and then retighten it. And you want to try to get both of your bass drum beaters to be exactly the same. The other adjustment is right here. And this goes for how short or long this drive shaft actually can be. So you can adjust it to where this is further away, especially if you have a snare stand to put in between here. If you don't have to put a snare stand, if your snare is attached to your drum rack, then you can have this pretty close together. And these right here, you just loosen them and this will slide out and be longer or shorter and then retighten them. And the other thing is the pedal tension, um, spring tension. And that's right here. And you have to loosen this first and then tighten from the bottom and then tighten this one back. This is another thing that really helps when you're using the double bass pedal. If you're using like a traditional hi-hat that opens and closes like this, 
it really helps to have this item right here, which is called a drop clutch. So normally your hi-hat just opens and closes when you raise and lower your foot like this. But when you play double bass, you don't want the hi-hat to be too open like that. But you just have to use your left foot on the left bass drum pedal. So you can't really hold this down and play this at the same time. So that's where this comes in handy. Push this lever and it automatically closes the hi-hat. Then you can play double bass and have a fairly closed hi-hat instead of it being all open and floppy like that. Drop clutch. Costs $15 or $20 and it's very, very worth it. So that's about it for double bass drum pedal placement and adjustment. If you have any questions about it, hit me up in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Rock on.